Your lesson essential question is what are two ways that you can use a number line to subtract? So you are going to be subtracting today. You know when we subtract we find the difference. Difference means that you're taking numbers away. And we're going to be using a number line in two different ways. So we'll be counting up and counting back. So again, we're going to be subtracting, we'll be finding the difference. So we'll be taking numbers away to find the difference. And we'll be using a number line in two different ways. This is a number line. A number line starts with the smallest number and goes in order and gets higher. So let's see how we can subtract on a number line. Let's say I have 10 minus 4. Well, my first strategy is I can count up to subtract. So if I'm counting up to subtract, what I want to do is I want to find the smallest number, so what we're taking away, which in this case is 4. So we're going to find 4 on the number line. And we're going to go all the way up to 10 and see how many jumps it is. So 4 to 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I made 6 jumps to get to 10. So counting up, I made 6 jumps. So 10 minus 4 is 6. Let's see if I can count backwards and get the same answer. So this time we're going to use the number line to count back to subtract. Now in this case, we're going to start with the greater number, which is again 10. And we're going to take away 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And now when you count back to subtract, the number that you land on is your answer. And again, we got 6. So 10 minus 4 equals 6. So to review, you can count up. Start with your smaller number. Make jumps all the way up to your bigger number and then count how many jumps you made. Or you can count back. Start with your bigger number, take away your smaller number, and the number that you land on is your answer. You can use either of these strategies. You're going to be practicing this today.